That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Hey, hey, we got him. Oh. Hey, that guys. Works. I'm, uh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, we got it. I'm, I, everybody, I, oh, I want to, uh, I want to uh, quickly right. say sorry. Peace out, y'all. Uh, I, I, I talk with my parents. I I, uh, I uh, might have whiplash. We'll need to see, but I do not feel just, very good yeah. right now. Uh, okay. I made you guys wait really long, uh, and I apologize. But I'm I feel like I'm probably not in any good mood, uh, good headspace to play the game tonight. And I feel bad for having everybody wait so long for me. I'll tell you what happened. But after that, I'm probably just gonna like lie down. Or I'll just keep going. Being in a car accident or, or is probably one of the best reasons you can have to miss a session. So. All right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah do you want me to tell you what the sure frick just happened? Sure. Okay, that's why we. Last session, you uh, reached the Fane Guard. Uh, you were snuck attacked. Sneak attacked. Someone snuck up on you and attacked you. They were snick uh, snack. And they were uh, pixies. And the spell that it that says it reveals. Uh, Invisible creatures uh, does in fact counteract invisibility. <laughs> uh, Took us a while, but we got there. <laughs> it just doesn't counteract other forms of concealment, which I will say uh. doesn't make much sense. Just personally, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it makes sense that it doesn't counteract like blur, right? Why? <laughs> uh, because blur is like multiple images of you shifting around as opposed to you not being there at all. Yeah, but... Yeah, they're just uh, all sparkly but, now, though. <clears throat> I can see why, wouldn't it? Eh, okay. I mean, like, yeah, but also stacking concealment also turns you invisible. Like, if you get up to 50 concealment, you get a big-ass bonus on your stealth. So... How much does it give you difference? a bonus on your stealth or does it give you does it make you invisible? They're not too different within the rules of the game. Uh <sighs> Pathfinder. <laughs> um but Epic Pathfinder moment. Uh you guys defeated the uh Pixies and uh you managed to uh continue on. Uh Reach the fane guard, uh, where as you were beginning to rebuild it, uh, a figure appeal appeared on the he hillside, uh, and it was Tenzakil. Uh, and he told you essentially that he was gonna, uh, he was gonna defeat you, and that uh, struggling is pointless because even if you do reach Roswin, she's way more powerful than him and you, uh, so you might as well give up. Uh, but you didn't. Uh, and as you made your way uh, and tried to continue, uh, he sent his uh, bees to attack uh, and uh, hit you full for force, did some damage, uh, and uh, during the battle, two time dropped unconscious. Uh, and then uh, Tenzakil uh, surrendered. Uh, and even though Two Time was reticent because he was unconscious, he couldn't do much about it. Uh, and uh, Tenzakil uh, gave you a stroll of uh, neutralized poison uh, to help with the recovery of uh, tone. Uh, who'd been affected by a uh, bee's poison. Uh, and that's sort of where we left off? Yeah, Tenzakil agreed to help us get into 
yeah. Roswin's castle, and then yeah. we called it there. Yeah, we had just put the uh, what's it called, Fane Guard, back together. Yeah. yeah. And he also told you about a secret entrance. Yeah, he also became a bleachling instead of a bleached gnome. Yeah. He he went from the sad and desperate stage of depression to the this is how I am now. I can't feel anything stage of depression. Yes. Yep. Which is arguably better because he's no longer a threat to himself and others. Mm, I mean, it's still bad. It's, it's certainly better for you. <laughs> yes. Uh, and at the end of the day, isn't that's all that uh, really matters? Is how good things are for us. Indeed. You have uh, marked out uh, is uh, the entrance uh, to uh, the secret entrance. Uh, and then this is the castle down here. Uh, well, you are free to move about this map as you wish. What? It, I know time of day isn't the same here, but we've been traveling for a while, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've had a rest since we've... Uh, since we've caught... We haven't rested, I thought. No, you have. You rested yeah. up. Oh, we did. Okay. All right. Uh, um, let me change some help. After the Tenzakil fight? You didn't we rest haven't rested after the, the Tenzakil okay. fight. I think we rested mm, in between right, the right. Witch Market and the Fairy fight. We did. It was after so, the Wolf Rider Spriggans. So, how is everyone looking after Tenzakil? Uh, I'm almost okay. dead. You're almost dead. Uh, uh, I'm at like I'm a quarter. Poisoned. I am also I'm also poisoned. I forgot about that. We need to take a uh We need to take a little sleepy poo. Thoughts? Uh how long has it been since our last rest, roughly? Uh it's been two, three hours. Yeah, we We should keep going. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, Heavy, Heavy will say, I know we're not all in the best of shape, but uh, if uh, I'll try and draw as much attention as possible, um, you're no. too hurt to feel like you can fight if we get into a fight, which hopefully we won't, then just hang at the back or stay near me so I can cover you. I got I got you. Yeah, don't you got that fancy wand there? Uh, that I do. I've been using the staff. I do have a wand. So I, I will start a lot of them. <laughs> break out the wand. It's stop. <laughs> I was talking more about fucking con damage. True. Yeah. The staff, the staff can repair that and hence lesser as yeah. well. I'll take like the first three or four cure light wounds. Seven, six, nine. Uh, sorry, I need to. I don't have my sheet, so I can't do math. Or my, my little token isn't on the thing. Uh, I mean, it's 22 more HP. How much yeah. HP do you have right now? Uh, 25. I can do that math. Okay. Uh, I'm still at half. Eight is eleven. Is uh, I can't do math. Is thirteen. Uh, is thirteen is sixty. Uh, if other people need it more, I can live at sixty. I'm heavy. How are you looking? Uh, I'll use that for myself, just cause... I'm also gonna take, a uh, 20-inch shift into Snapjaw. Okay, going full Snapjaw. Yeah. 
And you know, here, take one more, just so that way I have an even tool. Mm, throw one my way. You can oh, have that uh, eight. Okay. Yeah, take that eight. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Uh, all right. I'm going to check your boy Tones. Tones fucked up. I yeah. think. But it's mainly con damage that's fucking him up. Yeah. This is the part where we find out that Al is horrible at tracking con damage. No. <laughs> pretty good. Right now he has a minus 32 to his HP. Oh, <laughs> oh. Dear God. <laughs> oh, wow. Tis oh, but a flesh wound. Right. So oh, he's not applying the minus four to his fortitude, though. How the fuck is he applying it? Is it in the temporary? Oh, no, he's he is just minusing nine off of his con, which is not how you do it. I thought At least that he kept track of it. Fortitude save. Huh? That takes away from your fortitude. No, sure. it does, but you don't actually have uh, minus nine to your con. You have nine con damage, which is different in like a couple ways. Yeah, because it has to be. Because of course it does. <laughs> damage to your con is not the same as con damage. Mm-hmm. What the difference? I don't. I do. don't know. It's it's peak Pathfinder. So. Losing, like, losing con would be from something like uh, ability drain rather than ability damage. Like, the the key thing that makes it different is that the ability score, excuse me, the ability score damage has no effect unless you have, like, it has no effect if you have one, but it has an effect if you have two, regardless of what your score is. Yeah, and it actually, oh, by, okay. by removing the minus nine to his con, his fortitude went up by one because he is a even con score normally. Um, yeah, so, I mean, he's at nine con damage, but otherwise, I mean, he's at max health for his current nine health. con damage. <laughs> yeah, so he is, he is 26 out of 26. Well, I'll give him one. Uh, Staff of healing, uh, restoration. Okay, you're just gonna do a lesser rest fail? Yeah, just, uh, just to start working on it. Okay. For four, four. let's go. Great, yeah. And that, that also repairs over time, right? Uh, it's like yeah. one a day. Yeah, one a day or something. Yeah, it's one a day. Uh, it's doing a medicine check or heal check to make you go faster? Uh, yes, it will double the healing, so it'll be... Two. Two a day, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll start doing that in a night. We'll <coughs> but, uh, but yeah, you let's you not be able to get any sleep because you have to treat him during the night. Oh. If you go to bed. Which means you couldn't prepare spells. That's a machine. I mean, it's it's more useful for you to just uh, restore the staff. No, use yeah, more or less sure. Yeah. Oh, uh, I. I Onwards and upwards. Well, you guys continue uh, your journey. Uh, you are. You can move three of these squares. Move three miles each hour. Uh, you have five more hours of movement, and you're trying to get over to there. Do we move uh, it three while we're in the forest, or do we only no, move it two, two while we're in the forest? In the forest? Oh, you are correct. You are correct. Yeah. So that's that's one. Stop. That's one hour. That is one hour. Uh, and now I need a D one hundred from Ben. Seventeen. I forget which. I always forget which side uh, is good. Uh, which side is bad? You know. For now, uh, you don't. See anything noticeable happening? Do you need survival or perception checks for us while we're from us while we're traveling? Uh, not at the moment. You sort of have like a direction that you. Oh, actually, I do need a survival check. Yeah, 
Isn't Sammy or two time incapable of bailing the ones to avoid getting lost? That is true because of the plus four from knowing. Yeah. I don't know what the DC is, but I have a plus 15 to them now. Uh, yeah, which is, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so Thank you, Desna. You uh, continue on your journey. Nothing strange happens. Uh, during this next hour of travel, I need a perception check. I rolled a 35. 35. God damn. <laughs> 41. 41. Oh, oh, with the 41. <laughs> uh, you, got, you did get a 31. Jeez. You are, uh, all of you are going to notice um, uh, stalking through the branches uh, above you is uh, a. Uh, shadowy figure uh, hiding uh, so you can't see them but you notice like uh, uh, branch shifts nearby and you see a flash of movement and then uh, you see leaves dropping in another section where this figure might have landed and you get the feeling that you're being followed by someone who is very good uh, at following people without being noticed, but you guys are very good at noticing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've established that we are the most perceptive party. <sighs> Only Tone has bad eyes. Mm-hmm. And that's because he's a fucking nerd. <laughs> too busy looking at too books! Busy <laughs> I'm too busy looking at books. <laughs> I'm too busy looking at books. <laughs> Alright. Um... I so noticing this I'm going to call out who goes there <laughs> we know you're following us uh can I get a diplomacy check oh fun oh no <laughs> 15 that's surprisingly not bad it is really not too bad. Uh, once again, my trend of rolling roughly in the same range, no matter what die size <laughs> I'm using, continues. Uh, you see uh, a uh, shifting in the branches, uh, and a voice responds to you uh, in your own voice says, uh, I'm just following. You don't have to worry. (laughs) I mean, that's not what my voice sounds like, but okay. (laughs) Imagine, though. Imagine if it did. Um. (laughs) Fucking insight. Wait, no, sense motive. This isn't 5e. Yeah, what are you, dumb? Come I didn't totally think the exact thing. Come on, <laughs> come through. Uh, yeah, it took forever for that one to come through uh, for me, too. Okay, 22. <laughs> Another one might be on it. Yep. We're taking the 22 because it's the first one I rolled. True. Uh, you get a... You get a hunch this uh, creature is... Terrified. Because it got spotted by us? I mean, I guess we don't know why. Yeah. No, I'm just kind of theorizing that. Could be... It could be that it's scared because we spotted it, or it could be it's following us because it's scared, and we seem like we might be able to fight anything that attacks it. So, but it doesn't seem like it's going to attack us. Yeah. So does Sleepy get that with the 18, or is it just me with the 22? Uh, I think it's just you. Okay. Um, I'll say, you know, to the rest of the group, it's scared. Don't know why, but it is. If you don't mean us any harm, we don't mean you harm. 
But if you're running from something, we might be able to protect you. Show yourself. Ah. Uh, I am not running from anything. I am honorable. I continue to mimic your voice, obviously. I can't mimic it perfectly. Does someone else want to talk to this thing? Now. Like the way my voice sounds coming out of it. <laughs> now, uh. Okay, well then, I mean. Like my partner there said, uh. We ain't gonna attack you if you ain't gonna attack us, so, uh. I have no intention of attacking you folks, so, uh. You don't gotta worry. How about why? Why are you following? Are you copying my voice too now, Sleepy? <laughs> no, I think it's just Tyler slipping into Tyler mode. <laughs> Which, which is Are you actually copying his voice? No. Okay. <laughs> What's uh, your job with me? The creature, the creature will respond in Sleepy's voice. Then. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> you don't gotta worry about <laughs> nothing. I, I'm just, uh, just wondering where you folks are heading. So I'm following you. <laughs> That's such a creepy thing to say. <laughs> but I, I, I. Ooh! You folks don't by any chance know a way out of this place, do you? Uh. Yeah. We do, don't we? I mean, we assume yeah. we do. Uh, this way to that spot roundabouts. Back, uh, I mean, we just kind of assume we know how to get out. We don't actually know if we can get out. Sure, yeah, we didn't ask. How'd you get in? I guess we, uh, how'd you get in? Yeah, we can ask you the same uh, question, partner. <laughs> well, um, well, uh, I mean, I, I, I've been, uh, I've been in here for a while. I sort of lost myself. Uh, I was walking through a, a jungle, got separated from my tribe, and uh, well, snatched up, ended up here. Okay, can can someone who has actual knowledge ranks please try and identify this thing? Because heavy can't, and I want to know. Hey! Right. Oh, I mean, we can't see it. Just being able to change one's wrist. Well, we we know that uh, it what? imitates voice. Oh, okay. really? My original thought was Kenku, but I don't think that checks out. I don't think they can perfectly make a voice. Kenku or I thought they faces. Yeah, they don't exist. <laughs> uh, I thought we found. Like... What, what? What's the bird person? We found a bird person in the that, uh, that was a tango. Tango. Oh. They you know what I mean. They can't. Oh, no. Actually, they might be. I, think I thought they good. could. I think it might be an alternate racial trait. I'm gonna check. Maybe it's just a racial. What, what, uh, would can Tyler like make this, a? Would this proc and I'll check being able to change your voice seamlessly? No, because that's not like a creature ability. That is an ability that this person has. They get a bonus on linguistics checks and can learn more languages, but they do not have an alternate racial that lets them. Uh, they don't have a voice alteration. They don't have a voice alteration. Or, yeah, they don't have a voice alteration. Uh, I mean, so you, I'll. <laughs> you folks know a way out, just to be clear. Of a sort. Do you have Maybe. a map? That I can see. I'll look over to the rest of my party and see if we want to let him. Tone shrugs. 
<laughs> have you the ready use. I just I'll slowly shake my head no. You know what, buddy? We can trust you. So, now, nah, sorry. You're being real sketchy. And don't, not, I, nah. You know, you're playing a little bit more. Cards a little low to the table. We might be able to talk, but the way you act now, hey. I don't want nothing to do with you. Hey, would you be able to trust me if I showed myself? More so, yes. That would help. And also, stop using my voice. It's really fucking no it's me. I think <laughs> they want you to use my voice. <laughs> Freak me out, man. It's like I'm over there. Would you uh, prefer that I use my own voice? Yeah, you know, that's a step I mean, in the right can, direction. You, you know, I guess you could do any voice you want. It's just not one of ours. We'll be just, we'll just assume that your own voice. It's, it's, it's weird. Dude. I'm not used to you. Two-eyed folks, Trillium. Two-eyed folks, Squillium? What? I really, um, really, um, speaking oh. to us, uh, so, excuse me, uh, and you see, uh, a creature, uh, begins to climb down from one of the a creature. Uh, it is large, uh, not just like Not a capital big, large, but big medium creature. Uh, it has white uh, carapace running up and down its body, uh, and it has eight eyes running down a horse like snout. It looks like a mix between a horse, an insect, and a humanoid. Uh, and uh, you see this creature. I'm gonna post it into. Oh, actually, I'll just fucking put it on the map. Because that way people on the stream are gonna be able to see it. Uh, you see uh, this creature. Uh, oh, Dios mío. Ah, Jimmy, La creature. Yes, yes. <laughs> what the La fuck? <laughs> indeed. And now, if you want to, you can roll a knowledge local. Knowledge local? Yeah. I'm not, not awful at those. I have ranks in those. That'll pass. Yeah. Anyone else want to roll? I totally oh. can, so. Uh. Oh. You recognize this as a Galoma. Uh, they are native to the Mwangi Expanse. Uh, they fear other people. Uh, and deliberately use their unusual biology to frighten off those uh, they consider to be dangerous pet predators. Uh, they see themselves as prey. Uh, and two-eyed people <laughs> as predators. Hmm. Oh, they rarely reveal themselves to others, and when they do, they often adopt threatening personas as a means to protect themselves. Uh, this Just to be clear. Yeah. Sleepy freaks the fuck out of all of <laughs> Calm down, Sleepy. It's uh. You, you see, this creature actually grows in confidence. Like it's sort of like uh, now that you you freak out at seeing it, it, it like steps forward a little bit more confidently and starts to walk towards you, folks, and says, uh, "I'm Kissup. Uh, it is nice to meet you all. Pleasure to meet you, Kissup. Hey." <laughs> I walked through a circle of stones and found myself to the north of here. Uh, well, I'm sorry I kind of ended up here. It's a little bit of a uh, mess. It's not a great place to be. Uh... I, 
So I don't know if we have a. We think we have a way out. Uh, Thinking is better than what I've <laughs> experienced <laughs> recently. I had a run in with a group of these. Short two eyes, but they grew yes. into massive two eyes. Mm. Uh, yeah, you blind, kinda... you, you blind folk are terrifying to us. Well, <laughs> I, I appreciate your your bravery and uh, meeting us. Then, <laughs> yes, but it feels neutral. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Hey, uh, so I look at last night because I know he said no. And I'm like, uh, how you feeling last night? You still want to not help or you want to? Well, it, it's not that I don't want to help him. It just didn't want to show him our only means of navigating. I mean, I'm, to be honest, my main worry was that uh, he was an agent of Roswin. And that we would have been kind of like screwing up the whole thing. Yeah, but now that uh, you, who is he? Roswin. Can I sense motive that? Yeah. Twenty-two. Uh, you get the feeling that his interest is genuine. His interest is genuine, but he doesn't know. Yeah. He's okay. Uh, yeah, he's genuinely she, asking, "Who is she?" she she's some. Uh, I guess she's the ruler of this. I don't know. If she's the, all this whole Fey first world crap is confusing to me. She's a bad lady. We gotta get her staff and kill her and stop the shit she's, from shitting. She's the ruler of the place. You people are killers. Of a sort. We're. Well, we were mercenaries. I mean... Honestly, I, it's usually in self-defense. No. I'm, I guess I'm a killer. I've, I guess that's what... I guess that's where this life has brought me. A killer is a mighty thing to be. I've never found it in myself to kill. Really? Man. You sure look the part. I always hide. Hiding is safer than killing. Yeah, that can, is uh, a philosophy I think. We can uh, to show you on our map where... Uh, We, yeah, how good are you with directions? He'll move a little bit closer, but he's, he's still like staying like a good 15 feet away from it. If you had, uh, how many miles is it? Uh, I think 15. it's about 20. No, that's not where we came in. That's the dead zone. Oh, that's the dead zone. You're right. Uh, we came in like around here, uh, right? Here. Yeah. If you had yeah. about 20 miles, uh, northwest. Uh, west, northwest, uh, you should see one of those, uh, stone circles. And yeah, and we're well, thinking, like, we had to say, at the map where it is. yeah, we had to say fell night backwards to get in. We're thinking, uh, if you say fell night forwards, spell, spell it spell. forwards, it might take us out of here. How do you spell Fell Knight? Uh, <laughs> F-E-L-L-N-I-G-H-T. Give me a moment. Uh, close uh, his eyes and you see like he closes the eight eyes on his face. And then he also, what you thought were just like red dots dip, dimpling like the hairs coming off of his body also close uh, you realize this thing has like hundreds, hundreds of eyes <laughs> uh. 
Let's think for sure. And uh, just as a heads up, because I know you don't like us uh, two-eyed folk much, there uh, there might be some that way, but it'll actually put you out pretty close to the Mwangi Expanse, I think. I have no problem with two-eyed folks, but... I just thought you were... You seem kind of scared of us. Oh, well... You folks are predators, and we are prey, so... Best of situations is you... People like you folks come, killers, and then do their job. Well, uh, our job isn't to do that to you, so. Clearly. Well, yeah, uh. I think I have it memorized. F E L L N I G H T. Uh, actually, there's no. Uh, wait, did I say K? There's no K. Yeah. I don't think I did. You I don't know if I did or not. You didn't say the K. Okay, good. There isn't one. It, it is written at the bottom of the map. I didn't... I wasn't looking when I spelled it. <laughs> yeah, F-E, F-E-L-L-N-I-G-H-T. He's going to uh, sort of like stretch and limber himself a little bit. Uh, and then he's going to like just <laughs> climb up a tree. And uh, begin snaking away um, through the... Uh, or backwards if it doesn't work. That jumbo. Deal after. Okay. Uh, and uh, you're sort of like your eyes are drawn to him, so you don't notice it until he's gone. Uh, but uh, where his feet were, uh, you see placed there is uh, a sack. Uh, and if you look inside. Uh, he has left, uh, a pile of odd knickknacks that he's gathered, uh, and, like, wood carvings, uh, and they are incredibly well done. A lot of the wood carvings, a lot of the work with wood is, like, insanely well done. Uh, and, uh, worth 250 gold pieces, uh, if you sell them as art pieces. I will add that into loot. Uh, we treasure it. 250 GP. Good one, Tyler. I see your camera reaction. <laughs> Good one, Tyler. Good one, bud. So, thanks. Uh, another hour of travel. Move. <laughs> Bing bong. Bing bong. Uh huh. Bing bong. Hey. Your choice is wrong. D100 from Tyler. Hey. Okay. Uh, nothing happens. Uh, next hour, you reach the river. Uh, this river is, uh, about half a mile across. How do you plan on crossing it? Half a mile across. <laughs> what are our best ways to cross this river? I imagine it's deep enough. Uh, there are parts that are shallow, no. uh, enough for you to walk, but there's no part where you can across the entire thing walking. Uh, if you want to, you can roll a survival check to find the shortest route. Uh, but that will take an extra hour. I mean, I think we're... Well, let's wait and think of options before we do that. True. Uh, here's one thing I'm thinking of. Uh, liar building... Build a little raft. You got wood. Uh, heavy just knocks down the trees. What? Pikmin mode. Uh, build us a, a boat. 
That's what I'm thinking. Pretty good idea. Hmm? I mean, my only option is to just drink my potion to fly and just fly across. Because I'd rather not swim it because I don't know what what we could be yeah, my swim. attacked by in the... Uh... Also, I think like none of us are good at swim checks. Oh, awful. Yeah. Except uh, the fucking crocodile. Oh, yeah, I have a swim speed. <laughs> I can just swim it. <laughs> So, uh, uh, you guys want to build a raft? If we're taking, if they're taking the time to like chop down the trees and build it, can I make that survival check to figure out the shortest way across? Yeah. yeah. 21. 21. Got it. Um, and, uh, do you guys want Tone to wield the, uh, string instrument? Because he does, he doesn't perform string plus yes. not. Yeah. Would be ideal. The, the only positive charisma character. <laughs> uh, okay. It's always great when the party face has the drawback that gives you a bad reputation. That's true. Very Who good. knew all of us would schmuck? Not me. I knew I'm a great guy. Oh, oh, idiots. I think it's silly that I should have picked the charisma based gunslinger, the mysterious stranger, or whatever it's called. Uh, okay, so you're only gonna get to play it, I think, for 30 minutes, but I think that'll be enough. Let's see. Uh, this is a group of seven men, of like a whole liar. Of, it, it's not set, it's like insanely amount, it's like a crazy amount. Yeah, to make, like, a suitable ramp for uh, Let's see. Liar of building. Uh, uh, once a week, uh, its strings can be strummed so as to produce cords that magically construct buildings, mines, ditches, tunnels, etc. Uh, the effect that is produced in 30 minutes of playing is worth... Is equal to the work of a hundred days labor, a hundred work humans laboring for three days. This is one nice raft. Uh, each hour after the first, a player point. Oh wow! So he can do actually two. He can do two three minute section. Uh, he can make you guys a boat. Right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he can, he can go past the ramp and just make, like, a long ship. You know, hell, why not just a bridge? Oh, yeah, sure, he'll build, build a bridge as well and just cut down a section of tree line. Yeah. Yeah, so you watch uh, as he's playing, just, like, uh, trees being felled by invisible workers uh, and uh, being sawed by invisible saws. Uh, and uh, slowly uh, this bridge starts to be built uh, across the river uh, and they build like support structures and they build rafts to bring out like supplies and stuff and uh, <laughs> this uh, giant uh, like 15 feet wide uh, wooden bridge uh, is built all the way across this mile wide river uh and half a mile wide river and uh at the end of an hour it is complete <laughs> this item Jesus is so Christ. silly we really have so not been putting this item to enough use what what, what other times have we had the I don't know, but it's tired bridge. <laughs> How many times uh, can we use it? We could literally build a small fortress in an hour while we long rest. Well, you can only use it once a week, which is the main thing. So oh, there's like a lot of opportunity costs and like, well, if we do this and we need to use it again in a week, that would suck. Um, yeah, but now the army also has a 
path over. Yeah, I was just yeah. about to say that. Tone is going to could... say, uh, do, we want, uh, do you all want to name it something? I feel like we should name it something. We made it. Uh, what are they... What do they name bridges? Well, no, it's a raft. Oh. No, no, I, he uh, built a raft. He built a bridge. He built a 15-foot oh. wide bridge. Oh. The entire way. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm trying... Why How about they... the Queen Roswin Memorial Bridge, since she's going to be dead? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'll shrug, and uh, right at the end, you see uh, a uh, uh, beautifully uh, lacquered sign being put up. Uh, <laughs> and it says, it literally says that quote, it says, uh, the Queen Roswin <laughs> Memorial Bridge, because she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was like fully like got laughing in character by the way that was yeah. Here, here's the thing when when heavy <laughs> says something that's witty it's not because he's like being witty it's, it's because, just like it's like, funny because that's what heavy would say not because it's witty <laughs> I know but like when it, whenever he does say something witty like uh it's it's always because he's making like it seems like he's making you know really esoteric connections and whatnot but it's just because he's so dumb he doesn't get the connections that are there and he just takes everything at face value it's beautiful <laughs> rock glorious okay man this, this could be awkward as hell ah, uh, let's keep let's keep going it'll make an interesting story for the books <laughs> a couple of schmucks built the bridge with the real Alright, so you guys walk <sighs> across the bridge. Uh, and mm. go ahead and move another three. Or will we only move the one? Oh, oh I guess that makes sense. We'll move another two, actually. So it's been. Uh... If we stay towards the mountain edge, is that faster? Yeah. So. That also puts us in between the forest, and also I imagine the main path uh, is this. I'm gonna need a uh, D100 from two time. Okay. Nice middle uh, number. <laughs> so it's been three hours, which means it's been six hours since we rested. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to be super close by the end of eight hours. Yeah. Uh, We're definitely resting before we go in there. Yeah. Uh, Do you guys continue on your journey for the next two hours? Uh, Yeah. I don't... Yeah, I don't see why we wouldn't. Okay. Uh, Go ahead and roll... 2d100s, one from last snow and one from bed. And that would put us here? Or I guess we need to see what they are. It'll put you here, I believe. Oh no, it'll put you here. My bad. Okay. Uh, uh, you eventually arrive. Uh, you can easily set up a campsite. Probably don't want to light a fire because, you know, smoke. Yeah. Would reveal your position. Uh, but you guys get some rest. Uh, Tenzakil uh, is uh, silent and just stares empty, emp- empty out into the world. All right, Full thousand yards stare. Okay, well, uh... So how far are we ahead of the, uh... The other force? Uh, they would have just left this morning and they're moving... Much slower than we are. Like, they're probably around here. So they're uh, three days out, probably? If this took us around a day and a half? Maybe even more than that. Yeah, it depends if they run into trouble. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Well, I think I mean, we're resting me. here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to retrench my stab. Uh, do you have any keep any watches? Uh, uh, yeah, are we going to do 12? I, I would like to take last watch just so that I can... Actually, no, the spellcaster should probably take last watch. I guess I'll take first watch. Are we going to be doing 12 hours? Yeah. I can do two watches. I mean, if the spellcasters are doing a watch, then we need to do 12 hours, don't we? No. No? I, I honestly... The four of us that are here have such high perception. I don't think it matters yeah. who goes on watch when. Well, I only need to sleep four hours, so that's why oh. I was we were doing twelve hours watches. So I could just take two. Uh, I think we only need. Well, if heavy gets a full, if me and heavy do two two-hour shifts, do we still get the benefit of a full night's rest? No. No. Uh, well, let's do it. Let's... here's the thing, right? So, it's an eight-hour rest, but you only need six hours of sleep in there. Oh. Okay. Am so... I correct, Gabe? That's not true. No. How long does our watch have to be to for all of us to get a long rest? If Last Note only has to sleep four hours, uh, if the three of us be... do watches. Yeah, give me a second. Yeah, let's, let's load up yeah, on the bus. Just throw it on game. It would have to be 10 hours, right? Because it would be. That, I think so. You'd have a. Two hour long watch. Yeah, first one goes to sleep, then a two hour long watch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 10 hours. So, uh, the heavy can take first, I'll take second, and last one will take third. Because he can take a longer yeah. one. Because you only need to sleep four. Yeah. Okay. You need three, and then last one, because. Oh no, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Right. Perfect. Okay. Uh you guys get some rest. Um, and make some perception checks. And also poison. Are we still poison? Uh no, nobody's poisoned as in like poison poison. Some people have con damage from poison, so. Yes, right. you no so ongoing effects, though. One of the ability damage. Yeah. So, uh, just my long wrist, I can get rid of my poison? You can get rid of one. Uh, I, I think only you have... only took one point of ability damage from it. Yeah, oh, I only took that one. Case, in that case, yes, you can get rid of the entire Okay. Uh, that's so much awesome. <laughs> and then just my... Is it level plus con, or is it just level? It's just level. level. Okay, thought so. Oh, that puts me to max. Uh, tone goes down to four con damage. I have five charges. You could pop one on me, and may- maybe cure tone, maybe and definitely cure me. Uh, I would not be adverse to receiving some form of healing. I'm twenty-seven below max. I can do that during the run. With heal check, right? I can help. Yes, you can. You can treat deadly wounds uh, as a heal check, and it takes an hour. Okay. And does that take up? Oh wait, no. yeah. No. Yes. All right. Uh, so with twenty-two. Shit. How much do I get back? I think just another one. I think it's your level. All right. I think twenty-five was the. Good. Nice. All right, I'm on 88 of 107. Okay. Uh, do I go in with one con point down? Is that missing me eight HP? If you if you have one con damage, you shouldn't be losing any. Yeah. No, oh, so I have it set up for. I mean, I have it's 14. My con is 14. Yeah, it doesn't so- matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as long as you only have one, it does nothing. Once you get to two, it starts reducing, and then once you get to four, it starts reducing more. 
it's only on the even numbers that it actually does anything. Wait, All right, so, so for all why did, purposes, I'm not playing. Why did mine get reduced last game then? I think it was run wrong. Because you guys, yeah, you guys gave me that setup and it. Uh, Wait, you, you had to thirteen. You had more than one con. Damn no, me. I only had, or was it a, a two con? You had two con, and that's why it was a minus. Yeah, because yeah, this is the bitch you made me put. Oh nope, that won't put in. Uh, like that. You gave me that, and I put that in. Yeah, that's two con damage. So, so now I'll that have... you're at minus one, now it doesn't matter. Now yeah. it doesn't do anything. So you're good. Uh, we just have to remember that you have one con damage. Can I just put negative yeah, one in my temp? I would put that in the name of the thing. Just you like don't want to put negative one in your temp because that's going to reduce your fortitude save. When ah. it doesn't actually reduce your we, fortitude. We just know that you have one con damage in case you get a poison that also lowers your con. My, I don't. Future. I just put a buff that tells me that. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, a buff that I'm doesn't saying. do anything. Like just Well, I would say just change the name of that poison buff to one con damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna put one in there and put it and on. Then, yeah, Groovy. Uh, but but the HP doesn't. That's fine. HP no, the isn't HP affected, war. Yeah. isn't affected. Uh. Okay. So. You guys. Get some rest. Uh, you wake up the next morning. Uh, what would you like to do? Well, it's a new day. New me. <laughs> Can I get uh, a... P- we, we, we're planning on fighting this bitch today. Right? Yes. I believe so. Can I get well, another spot of healing? That was my question. Wouldn't it be better to wait until they spot our army and kind of gather to start marching and then we can that's when we sneak in to get queen no we're we're like an advanced strike from my understanding so well i don't mean like wait till they like start battle but at least because it will take them time to scrounge up their forces and then march out to me the thing that the thing that you heard from the scouts that they'd already sent in here is that their armies are already out and marching towards the exit Um, oh okay Everyone's already left, and they're gonna meet the armies and try and slow them down so that you can cut off the head of the snake. Okay, I missed that part. Uh, Heavy, you also need healing, still correct? Heavy? Here, yes. Uh, Math. Uh, I am 19 down. I'm the one. All right. That's good enough. Okay. And uh, last night, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm good. Tell Dr. Sleepy how you feeling. Are you getting enough sleep? I can answer. (laughs) Don't don't answer that question. (laughs) Uh, okay. Well, and we plan on doing triple named bullet? Correct? No. Uh, maybe double. Uh, but also, it only lasts for. It's an hour and 20 plus. minutes. I want to wait because we don't know how long this is going to take. Well, no, I'm saying like when we get into the secret entrance. Yeah. I would be shocked if it took us an hour to get to the throne. Well, we might have to rest or shit might happen that. Well, if- I would rest. say I, it's your spell. I would say hold off a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going to cast it right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm saying like when we go into like the secret tunnel. But I think we want pow pow. One or I don't know what else you prepare at that level. Uh, uh the most. Im- I have three spells that okay. I would be 
helpful. Debilitating portent. Which, which is, is like disadvantage? No, no. It is. I cast it on her. And I, I don't think the other is spell resistance, so that sucks. However, if if I get over spell resistance, I'm assuming she has it. Uh, for like eight rounds. Oh, that's like she has to make like she has to make a will save, or else okay. do half damage with uh, any okay. attack or spell. Okay. If she succeeds, it's full damage. If not, it's half. Sure. Or I can just cancel a creep. Okay, it's very useful. Uh, the other one would be spite, where if she hits me, if I can she curse gets her first. for free. And how many uh, can you uh, do of this level? I have three, so this is uh, my I, one. Not spell. triple named bullet. At least one okay. named bullet, but then it is your spells, so. The rest of that is up to you. The other one is, I'm thinking of Complex Hallucination. That's also uh, Illusion Mind Affecting against the Fae, which I feel like. So I think I'm just going to go with the Pillotating Portent and just try and be invisible. Okay. Uh, And for... Can I... I can prep a level higher of the lower level spell, right? But it's the same spell. Uh, you can prep uh, a lower level spell as a higher level slot, yeah. Bestow curse, a little scary being that curse. However, I could also do prep three levels or get three more cure mods in the pocket. By the way, Spite has a material component. I don't think we've been looking at that previously. It has a costly material component as well. What is the cost? It's like 250. Jeez. I I only think it's ever triggered once. Yeah, but I've still I've still cast it on myself. It's oh. it's not I mean, mistakes like this happen. Um, uh, uh, going forward, yep. cost money. <laughs> it's something. It's something oh. you prepare before, like you go into a dungeon like this one. Uh, maybe not every day though. Bam! Fixed it. Now that I read it, it prep it. I mean, spend two fifty. That's 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 thinking with that one. Uh. Yeah, so we just want more healing or just more damage? I'm not that much of a damage guy. I think I'll just prep more. More healing is more good. That's all I think. So I'll just do... I'll just write Cure Mod as a third level spell. Yep. Uh, how do we want to handle what uh, tone preps? I'm prepping him. Okay. I also assume we're not like in fights. No, I imagine we're not. I I would like to. Yeah, I would definitely want to win tone for sure, without a doubt. Yeah, if you guys if you guys reach like a boss battle or something, we're not going to continue. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, so. I am prepped and I cast Major myself now because it lasts 16 hours. Gotcha. Lasts for 16 hours, Major? In, in the, in the, uh, fan, it does. Oh, yeah, because everything. No, that's, yeah, sub, sub, subtype of spell makes it last. Yeah, the conjuration creation. Uh, yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, Tone's gonna throw up a sixteen-hour mage spell, mage armor as well. <laughs> it's like it's gonna be a whole day thing. It's, like, it's very um, useful. Uh well, you uh, you got work to do, so to speak. 
Yeah. Let's get to work then, boys. Uh, Tenzakil will lead you to a uh, small opening in the side of uh, one of these mountains. It's uh, wide enough to fit. Uh, <laughs> one medium person heading down it. Um, but uh, the two small people could stand side by side pretty easily. We're not squeezing. No. But not squeezing you. I would be squeezed. Uh, but uh, as you head in, it joins with a uh, underground stream uh, that heads deeper into the earth. Uh, uh, it heads sort of southward. Uh, can I get your marching order? My front. It's. I think it's me, or I think it's. It's. I'm trying to figure out where I would be. Don't I usually I bring up the back? You. Yeah, you're usually rear guard because if someone like tries to attack from the back, you can just bite I'll them. Love them. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just... still. I've been snapjaw this entire time. Like this has been much longer than you've ever seen me in snapjaw before. Because wasn't oh, our before last we go in. Order. Also, uh, wait. Yeah. I want to put on bug repellent. <laughs> <laughs> I know the bugs bug repellent. I know these bugs are fucking coming. Uh, I'm greasing myself up. Okay. Uh, you got and, a greased up monkey. <laughs> and anyone would anyone else like some? No. I am fine. Oh. One might one might call him a grease monkey. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> a lube gremlin, perhaps. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> what That's that? the point. Um, I will be behind heavy if we're marching order. Okay. So the, and then the it's last no. me tone. Yeah, sleepy tone two tone. Two tone. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna move you guys onto a map. Actually, I'm going to check that it is correctly, dynamically lighted. It's um, all spoiled. I accidentally spoiled the entire thing. Oh, wait, I also need to prepare my hex. Shit. Y'all ready for doors? The greatest invention ever? I for gore. No, you, you for gore. I for gore. You for door. I for gore. Let's see. I you... am going to prep swine. Swine? You're going to swineificate swine, swine, swine someone? Yes. And also ward on somebody. Let's go on um, last snow. Last snow, I don't need to touch you, but I slap you on the back and you feel protected. Oh, that yep. is not correct. There we go. And uh, one swinular basket. Oh, oh gotta find myself. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And ward is up to plus three now. Nice snow. Ooh, nice. And we got. God, that map is huge. Yes, it is very large. Uh, you guys are entering a oh, castle. Oh, Baba Booey. Boom. Okay. Holy rusted metal, Batman. Do we have explore mode on? Uh, we might. That would explain the level of lag. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling it. Give me oh. a second. Here we go. I'll turn it off. There we go. Save settings. Boom. Oh. That feel no, better? I think it's just a big map. <laughs> no, it's better now. Oh, uh, it just took a while for it to update for me, I guess. Uh, okay. Can I? Let me give uh, you a description. Wanna... Yeah. Oh, what's up? I wanted to be stealthy. Everyone you, was okay with stealthy. You want to you stealth along? Yeah. Be, you know, be my invisible monkey self. Just, you know, every three rounds. 
casting ward on uh, last night because I don't need to touch him or anything. So I'm just half my little invisibility. And I'm just don't hurt me. <laughs> just just keeping keeping invisible. Okay. Well, uh, give me a second, and I'll give you a description of this room. Uh, bookmarks. Part three. Open realm. There we go. Uh. Uh, a small ledge of stone follows an underground stream here, uh, emerging into merging into what? A subterranean cavern and network. Uh, gotcha. Uh, oh, here. Right. Close. Can we move? Yeah. Uh, you are free to move as you will. Uh, go ahead and move in like one movement increments, though. Got it. So use the arrow keys. Uh, bu- 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 <laughs> Oh, I see. I'm just gonna move around tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. leaving yeah. a space for yeah. marching order. Okay. Hey, can I be making a second check? Just, um, yeah, I would yeah, just roll like my first 26. Go for it. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's see. What are you 58. Notice? Oh, it's with the plus 40 yeah, from I, the invisible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you see no, it's, a, it's a plus 20 because I'm the. Huh. A large pool fills half this cavern, uh, fed by an underground stream. Uh, emerging from the northern wall. Uh, and uh, you uh, feel this like shifting and shaking of the earth as if there was a large uh creature moving. Mm. My experience in Sanctum tells me that's very bad. <laughs> I have a good feeling about this. I, you never like something being described as a large creature. Uh, yeah, go ahead and move. I'll move. Uh, as you continue fi- forward, uh, heavy. Yeah. Uh, you are going to see. Uh, a raised ledge ahead of you. Uh, it rises a good 10 feet uh, above the normal cavern floor. Uh, and you see long grayish roots uh, descending from an open shaft into the cavern's ceiling. Uh, they go all the way down to the raised ledge uh, where you see several objects gleaming and glittering uh, amid a pile of bones. Right. Can I make a perception from here, or would I have to be closer? Uh, yeah, you can make a perception check from here. 16. 16. Uh, one of them looks sort of golden. Okay. Uh, another one is 
uh, looks kind of like a scroll, uh, and another one looks kind of like a bag. I'm gonna move up a little bit. Oh! <laughs> uh, so go ahead and follow uh, Heavy with your movement. If you're moving with him. I mean, not if he be... makes that noise. <laughs> well, <laughs> you that was make a bend noise, be... not a heavy noise. Oh, okay. Heavy but would not heavy. be making a noise. Uh, okay. So you all sort of see this massive shifting stone figure uh, to the north of you. You see the cavern also wi- uh, widens into a chamber uh, of cultivated soil uh, upon which a garden of mushrooms and other fungi grows. Uh, to the east and south, uh, recessed ledges overlook the room. Uh, alcoves to the north, uh, the, to the south and southwest uh, end in double doors. Uh, this cavern also holds a large creature of soil and stone uh, that has uh, fungus growing all over it. Uh, I'm going to need you guys to roll some initiative. Initiative! Initiative! Oh, wait. That's not any higher, but I do need this buff checked. Whoa, hi, Stacy in the party. I think. What's your AC? Uh, no, 26. Mine's 27 in hybrid form. Oh. Wait, you know, it gives you an AC bonus? It gives me a natural armor that I don't have from anywhere else. I could sway the numbers. I have to edit that in the overlay between recordings. Then <laughs> I thought I, I thought I mentioned that, but I might not have. You have in the past, but no, like you. specifically when Ben was asking for all the stuff for the overlay. I no. probably when I updated. There was it, a lot to set up. Well, I think when I updated it for eighth level, I was like, "Why is this higher? This shouldn't be higher." Ma. Uh. Yeah, it's 27. Also with Windstrider, too. It's 27 in uh, yeah. in hybrid form. Oh, my non-lethal also goes away. Yeah, you, you any non-lethal you guys had. I had I had one point of non-lethal from Folly. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I've, I've still got my non-lethal, or some of it. Well, uh, it is Sleepy's turn. Honestly, I can't see it. I don't know what's going on. I just know everyone's looking in this direction. Wait, why can't you see it? With the, uh, this is blocking I, the, uh... Yeah, this is... Uh, I, yeah, you can't see it from that spot. My, my wall is, like, here. Yeah, it, it cuts off. It's literally one square up. Like, if you drag it five feet up from that. Got it. I can see, like, half of it. Oh, gotcha. Oh, oh, oh. So Sleepy Sleepy looked like he was on last no square for me. That was why it was confusing. It's like, that's oh, a wow. very clear vision. Line. <laughs> yes, that would be. <laughs> what a clear vision that would be. Um, so I don't see it. I don't know what it is. Yeah. You're invisible. I am. So. I'm just scared. I'm just... Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, just going for five. I see it. Uh, ten. Can I make a check of something that me to identify creature? Uh, sure. Uh, that would be a knowledge planes. No. No? No. Unless it's a ten. Is it a 10? It is not a 10. The no. Okay. What's sleep again? Uh, I was 10. I just went back here. And then 
Can I hold my action just with my standard? Uh, what is that with? Yeah, you can ready a standard action if you want. What are you readying it for? I will ready it to cast Evil Eye. Hopefully, I don't know if it would work on this thing. Probably. What shot? Uh, you're readying it to what? Sorry, can you repeat that? E- uh, evil Eye. Evil Eye. Got it. Uh, actually, I'll probably I'll probably take. Assuming this thing's big, it probably has reach. So it'll probably be able to hit there. So yeah. evil eye. And to um, reduce its attacks. Got it. Is the plan. That's Sleepy's turn. Heavy. What are you doing? Well now. Um, I'm gonna use the bathroom. I must do. So I know what, I know what that is. I I am going to move action, gather power. Actually. Move action, you gather power. Yeah, and then I'm going to uh, standard action blade rush to there. Yoink. Does it get an attack of opportunity on me? Um... Because I believe it can't because of your blade rush. A uh, blade rush, I don't think says. Oh yeah, the movement oh, doesn't yeah, provoke attacks of opportunity. Um. So yeah. Uh. So that's to burn, and then. Uh. I will. Uh. Go ahead. And uh, I guess so. That's two burn, which are soaked essentially by my infusion specialization. And then I will spend the third burn. I can't do that. Never mind. Uh, I will spend that and then take a point of burn on uh, hitting it with a gravity whip. Okay. 19 probably misses. 19 hits. That is its AC. Alright. 23B damage. Okay. Uh, it seems to resist some of that. Alright. Uh, I currently have two points of turn. Okay. Is that Heavy's turn? That is Heavy's turn. I do not have. Um, I think Tone just to test out what this thing can. No, he's gonna make a notch check. Uh, and he's going to tell you all that that is a, uh, Huge Earth Elemental, a neutral huge outsider uh, with the Earth Elemental and Extra Planar uh, subtypes. Uh, you can look at the Earth Elemental and Extra Planar subtypes. You can also look at Outsider as a type. Uh, obviously, don't look at the Earth Elemental statue, uh, but you can look at those things. Uh, he's going to relay some of that information. Uh, whatever he would feel important, but obviously I do not have 25 intelligence. Uh, does it have, <laughs> it has DR to Beepus, I assume? 
It has DR. Uh, yeah, whatever comes is DR. Nothing. Okay, so it's just straight DR. Yeah. All right. Uh, how about mind affecting effects? I don't even know. Is he blind mind affecting effects? Uh, what would that work? It is not mindless. It should be able to be affected by mind affecting effects. My thought but it'll be correct. it'll be immune to whatever elementals are immune to. So you should look up I that. So like sleep. Oh, that's the other use of uh, dead shot is getting around DR. Yep, that is its main purpose. Uh, that and crit fishing. The crit fishing is an added bonus. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's the gunslinger version, like the version of cluster shot. I think. Yeah. Well, yeah, because clustered shot is a. Uh, it's a feat. <laughs> I think Tone is going to move uh, over to here. Now he'll want to move up to here so that he can... Yeah, he doesn't have to... He's going to have cover either way. Yeah. So he'll just move up to here and throw his snowball. Ball. Uh, 27 will hit, and he'll deal 24 points of cold damage as bits of this creature freeze. Uh, that's Tone's turn. I'll uh, last now. Um, <clears throat> so my more knowledgeable friends, so I don't have to spend 20 minutes trying to look for these things. What? knowledge do I need of this? Uh, it's knowledge planes. If you no, would. I mean like, um, because you said what sheet, like the sheets we can check? Uh, I, I'll look for you. Uh, it has DR that we can't really overcome. Mm. Immune to bleed, sleep, poison, stun, not subject to critical hits or flanking, no precision damage. Uh, they don't breathe, eat, or sleep. Okay. And this one we know has DR or something that is not overcome by anything. Perfect. Because all I know is I would look for that and then pretty much probably find the exact sheet Gabe said that we should be looking nope. for. <laughs> I searched uh, I searched elemental subtype. Oh, okay. Dope. Because that, that gives you all of the things that all elementals have, but not the stuff the earth elemental has specifically. Yep. Okay. And then it also has like the outsider subtype or subsheet, but I didn't look at that. Outsider type is normally like, oh, they're proficient with any weapons that they're holding, and they have this much hit dice, and hey, they, yeah. it's not super useful. Hmm. It's like saying, look at the humanoid subsheet. Like, yeah, it, it's a human. <laughs> <laughs> and then, as far as how big this creature is, is he large or is he bigger? He than is large? huge. He is huge. So he's, he's mm. one, one step above large, means he's probably got to reach a 15 B. Mm. I might still try to grapple him. I want to see if my grapple will work. Okay. Uh, can I move and then right when I get into range, acrobatics to avoid? Yes. Um, well, if you move within, it doesn't provoke. I, thought, I think you're thinking about like a reach weapon. He, he, his arm is, he can reach all the way around. Yeah, yeah, but if he has 15 that. feet, don't every time I move within it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, oh, only provoke. Yeah, so wouldn't I provoke once? Thing. Yeah, you only need to roll once. Give me a second. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I'm 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 wrong. I'm sorry. I'm making. You're thinking about like something like my work does, like he has like a like a spear weapon. I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, okay, I don't understand how reach weapons work. I thought you didn't provoke once you were in its range if you moved. That is, that is a reach weapon. This is a natural reach. It's different. Okay, so he, on this, okay, if you, you move, move within it, it provokes. 20 feet, you'd use 20 feet up, and then you could move uh, another 30 up to here if you rolled acrobatics to avoid. 30. Okay, uh, let's see. CMD of 30, you meets beats. 
Uh, you make it. <laughs> nice. Nice. <sighs> A CMD of 30. Uh, I, that's... I can beat that with my grapple. <laughs> I'm going to grapple it. Okay. Well, it probably is a 44. Size. You beat that <laughs> with the grapple uh, by 14. Uh, so you, you wrap him up. Uh, he takes no damage from your Kraken style. Yeah. Uh, but you got him. You're on him. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with him now. Yeah. <laughs> His last nose turn. Uh, two time. I'm going to go... Uh, oh, God damn it. Uh, screw it. Uh, I'm lazy and I don't want to. I only have 20 feet of movement. I'm going to use crocodile. Wait, how far is... I want to go. I'm going to use sprint, which is a free action, and then I'm going to enter a controlled rage, which is another free action. I'm going to stay out of his reach by going like that. Or is that that's, all 15? That's that's 15. Can I jump that? Yeah, you could jump onto that little corner over here. Uh, 60 feet gives me an extra. Do, do you need me to roll it? <laughs> Um, you're jumping. I'm running. I'm running, running, jumping. Like 10 feet up, so I, I would say, yeah. Oh. Uh, what's the bonus that I need to look up the bonus that speed gives to? Uh, it's plus four for every 10 above 30. So I think it's just plus four over here. No, because I'm sprinting, which is oh, an extra 60 feet of movement. So it's plus. It's plus 28. <laughs> so plus 31 with all my bonus. Uh, oh, wow. uh, 67. I can double yeah. jump if I have to. Yeah, you you uh, you can jump up outside of his range. range. Yeah. Uh, so you're like you leap past uh, up here. Yeah. Uh, and now you're like on the wall. So if you want to jump again, you can jump again. I just want to enter its range here. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Sure. And that doesn't provoke. That does not provoke. Okay, and then I will uh so that is sprint is a swift or it's a nope it just says I can do it yeah it's, <laughs> it's not action uh free action that but uh I'm sorry I'm making sure my boss I'm gonna shoot it once okay uh oh does a 24 confirm against touch Will confirm. Uh, 74 points of damage. Uh, <laughs> you land in a roll and you fire this shot off. And you know that it's perfect as it fires. Uh, and it flies through, uh, strikes it like right where the sort of like head of stone meets the uh, earthen body and uh, the whole thing just explodes and uh, a flash of gunpowder comes out and uh, sticks to the floor in a pattern that is very familiar to you. Uh, as you destroy this earth elemental with 74 points of damage. Let's go kill us queen. God damn. We're certainly ready to. Oh, damn, that was badass. <laughs> I mean, we're badass. Yeah, yeah we are. From the back. <laughs> Invisible right. hand raised. Back to looting. <laughs> oh, my token is the wrong thing that entire time. Uh... It's okay, we all forgot. I now it's everything. Now it's everything. Uh, I think I'm gonna give two time the bullets now. Okay. Okay. So, I'll let us I'm not going to load them yet. I yeah. think, I think, uh, I think, uh, Tone will raise his hand and say, like, could we, uh, 
check out what's here first. Yeah. Yeah. Loot. Yeah. No, fair, fair. Definitely. I just want to oh, yeah, I'm, say I'm, that bullets, bullets are magic. I mean, I imagine there's a ways to go before we actually get to fucking Queen Roswin. I was just saying. Uh, Tone is going to attempt to identify a few magical things that come down from that area. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you also, this is just like the stuff that you get no matter what, uh, you're gonna find up there uh, a uh, 78 gold pieces, uh, 210 silver pieces, 384 copper pieces, 78 gold pieces, 210 silver pieces, 384 uh, fifteen and six gold, or fifteen and six copper for everybody, or fif- the six fifteen gold, six silver. Okay. Uh, so I'm putting it on my own sheet, and then uh, two ten silver divided by five is forty two silver for each of us. That for me. Uh, 30, 42 plus three eighty four copper is seventy six with eight left over. Or seventy six point you know eight. Okay, so with so somebody can just take. Uh, it doesn't break down any further. Over basically. Yes. Seventy. So I'll take 75, mm-hmm. and the rest of you guys can take 77. You'd be taking 76, but yeah. Oh, sure. Whatever. Yeah. It's a copper piece. Don't worry. I am here to be math police. I appreciate it, because math is not my choice. <laughs> okay. Um, you find this among uh, awful and leavings uh, from fallen victims. Uh, of some sort of pit trap above. All Rancor style. So, tri- uh, and I will roll tons spellcraft checks. I shall also help if he needs it. Yeah, I mean, you should roll your own. Uh, first, for these, uh, you find golden lion statuettes. Oh. Uh, and uh, both you and Tone will identify them as uh, golden lion figurines of wondrous power. Golden. I can't type. That's not wrong. A O N P R D. Uh. It becomes a living animal of the normal size. Golden Lions is one of the more expensive ones. Yeah. Uh, Uh, It's two adult male lions. Yeah. Once per day for up to one hour. Uh, you will also find a can bag of tricks. I think we all know who that's going to. A bag of tricks is an absolutely busted item. Yeah, the gray. That. But tan. <laughs> What's the tan? A uh, grizzly bear, lion, heavy bush, tiger, rhino. Oh, so big boys. Uh, and finally, uh, there is uh, a scroll of fireball that casts her level of nine. Oh! Hey, three, fucking eight. Stop screaming. And I think Tone is the only one who's capable of casting that. 
Uh, no, it's... I... Actually, no, you're right. It's not on the witch spell list, is it? I don't think so. I have a lightning bolt, but... But that is, you know, lightning. So I am going to add that to his sheet. Uh, and with that, all the items are uh, identified. Uh, do you need to UMD to use the figurines? No, they're nope. they're wondrous. Okay, they have a command word uh, associated with them. Who wants the golden lion one? I mean, I could take it. I feel like uh, it's more useful on one of the backline boys in case they get jumped. Yeah. Have, having two lions pop out. Well, uh, I have, so I guess I have, I have the tricks. Which okay, so then Tone me. should also have Let's the Let's give lions. it to Tone just to have fun to say. Like, there are also statues much? and that feels kind of Tone-like to one anyways. Uh, my boy, my boy likes art. Uh, just for mechanics' sakes, how long does it take us to do all of this? I assume it's over a minute. Uh, it takes uh, a minute. Okay, perfect. Sprint is up every minute, so um, if, if we get ambushed, I need to know if it's up. Golden or not. lion figurine. I also do a. Yes, we found those magic animals. Did we? Can we say we did a sweep with the deck magic? Yeah. I'm assuming. I'm going to assume that Tone sweeps the deck magic. Great. Um. Oh. Uh, was there anything in the water? I feel. Prime spot. <laughs> Goodies. You want me to dip my silly little head in the water? Well, just detect magic through the water. You detect magic into the water? You don't detect any magic from the bottom? No, no, no. We sweep it around the other rooms. Uh, you don't find any magic. Uh, if you want to, you can make a perception check, though. I would Thank love you. to make a perception check. Nay. Uh... Two times. It seems like the mushroom gardens over here are regularly picked and planted. Like, they're regularly or irregularly? Regularly. Okay. A farm? Can we identify that out? Mushrooms? I'll point that out to the smarter ones because that doesn't. I, I picked this. Can we identify said mushroom? Uh, can you identify mushrooms? Uh, no. I can eat it. These, I mean, they're, I mean, you can identify them um, without a check, essentially. They are just oh. regular mushrooms. Okay. Uh, so so not, nothing, nothing, nothing special about them, just food. It's for food. Roger. Okay. Um, no, I'll take a handful, just a couple. Take a Cool. Why not? Uh, Got some mushrooms. Tone is going to uh, ask for everyone to gather up. And then throw Ash and Path on everyone. Oh, wow. Nice. Uh, he'll give himself 20 minutes of it. Uh, and then I don't need for my smoke. I don't need unless I want. To give He's got his own stuff. He can throw. Might as well give it to you as well. Got it. All right. Great. So he'll give Sleepy ten minutes, uh, and Heavy ten minutes, 
and then everyone else gets 20 minutes worth of this. And this is seeing through smoke and shit? Seeing through smoke, ash, fog. And oh, like, airborne yeah. irritants. So if there's any airborne poison or anything. Yeah, you get a bonus. You can see see through. Nice. Nice. Up to a distance and of 60 feet. Okay, and I have 20 minutes of that. Perfect. Yep. And I'll spend my named bold spell slots. Uh, I'm not going to load the ones with named bullet. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, have them. I have just two named bullets. Okay. Uh, well, you got two different pathways. It looks like you go down. Oh. Uh, I say yonder. Professional opinion. Sure. <clears throat> Okay. Go ahead, sit, go ahead and move yourselves down. So oh, sit. I'm gonna use. Uh, I have buckskin one. Who wants a buckskin while we're while we're at bumps? What's that the natural skin? armor bonus of Plus two. buckskin? That's the same as mine. I don't need it. Uh, I have a plus one amulet of natural armor. You want another AC? For half an hour? I, I believe actually Barkskin specifically gives an enhancement bonus to enhancement armor. to yes enhancement bonus to stacks of existing non enhancement natural armor. Correct. I will take one of those as well then. Yeah, enhancement bonus to creatures existing yeah. natural armor. So as long as you don't have an amulet of natural armor, you it'll stack with most other forms of natural. So armor. that's plus two for thirty minutes. Yes. I'll just should be higher at this level, I think, right? No, it's a wand. No, uh, this is a wand. Oh, it's a wand. Okay. Yeah. That's why I have it set at 30 minutes. Because it's 29 AC, baby. So I'm just going to toss a two on my Cassock of Clergy, just because. And I will spend uh, everyone in the party. So one, two, three. Because I assume everyone needs it. Okay. That's a... And it doesn't stack with amulets of natural armor. So if you have one of those, yes. no, it's probably I one plus do one not. Which time But uh, I re up my invisibility with Ward. I'm just going to only stand that too. Sanity sake. And there's those stuff. So, door open. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you should be able to open the door yourselves. Boop. <coughs> That's. <laughs> That's cool. Uh. So the uh, door swings it open uh, as Heavy opens it. Uh, and you see within uh, a smoking cook, uh, smoking pit of hot coals and ash lies in the center of this room. Barbed cells line the walls and a huddled figure uh, sits within the largest enclosure in the southwest corner. This is a jail. Do we... The huddled figure is sitting here, basically? Uh... Yeah. Can we make anything out about them? Uh, yeah. It's a older looking guy uh, with scraggly uh, white hair, dark uh, Mwangi skin, uh, and uh, He's just sort of like glancing at you like a deer. 
or caught in the uh, lights of an oncoming car. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the party face is not here. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, what are you hey. in for? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's gonna say, uh, "Who are you, folks?" Mercenaries. We're here to kill Queen Queen Roswin. What kind of mercenaries travel to a different world? Us. <laughs> the, the kinds the of ones that get paid a lot. <laughs> uh, you gotta be getting paid a lot to be coming here. This place is awful. Oh, yeah, I'm uh, not getting paid enough to come to somewhere uh, this bad. Well, I'd uh, appreciate if you freed me <laughs> I don't know I, why not yeah I'm freeing him the enemy of my well, enemy I, is my I, friend after all I don't like people being locked up I don't know much about this place I was, I was a lumber worker and uh, got ambushed by some <coughs> I don't know what they were they must have been flies I couldn't see them but uh Probably they were shooting arrows at my friends and then yeah one caught me and I dropped him unconscious. Uh, does he seem to be telling the truth? Uh, he does, yeah. Okay. And uh, why would she bring you here to a cell by yourself? Where are your friends? Uh, the. Uh, sort of like, gets like this more dour expression. He's like. Past couple of times, uh, anyone's visited this place. There's the satyrs, and uh, they uh, they took him. I heard screams for a while, but then blissfully the screams ended. I don't think they're alive. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Simply the last one. You want a quiet life, right? But you don't always get what you want. Dude. Ain't that the damn it, truth? They see behind like a regular cell door. Yeah. Yep, regular cell door. There's a lock built into the uh, metal. I would like to. Oh. Uh, I don't. I. I, I got fix, man. I need practice. Stop shooting. Never. Shooting. You got 30 it's seconds. From. You got 30 seconds. I'm putting you on a timer so you practice better. Alright. Yeah, you have. <laughs> well, that, that'll get it on the first try. Uh, you fill around with your uh, thieves tools, click unlock, uh, and uh, the door will swing limply uh, off to the side, and uh, this guy's gonna stand up. I uh, sort of like grabs the wall to steady himself, and then starts staggering out. I'll describe <laughs> the way we left, and say it should be safe to at least get out of the castle. Uh, I think I'll stick to the cave you're talking about. Yeah, yeah we can. If you're hungry, you don't look. You should be safe. You got some rations? I'll give him a. I, I over prepped the rations. I'll give him a, uh, like two days worth of my rations. Okay. Oh? Alright. 
Uh, he's gonna take the stuff and he's gonna say, uh, there's some, uh, satyrs that I'm talking about. There's, there's one of them down here. He's, he stays down here all the time. He's a, a jack seer. Uh, he's a mean bastard. He should be over there, and he'll point towards uh, these doors. You go into a room, uh, the torture room, and uh, he'll probably be in there or the room behind it. Uh, but his, his bedroom is, uh, if you're in the torture room, there'll be a offshoot off to the left. Then you'll enter a cylindrical room. Uh, and from there, it's an offshoot off that. This, uh, Jaxi, are he... What did he... What does he fight with? Could you... Do you know what he would, uh, come at us with? He's got words that muddle your mind and, uh, Good to know. He nods. Uh, then he's gonna start walking out, and uh, he'll close the door behind him as he leaves. Probably smart. Is there anything else in any of these other cells? Uh, go ahead and make a perception check. Percy. But eight. eight is really twenty nine. Uh, no. Okay. Nothing of importance remains. <clears throat> so I suppose stack up our door. Yeah, they were going after the prison guard. <laughs> Yeah. Do we want to go quiet or go loud? I mean, we should go. There's no sense in going loud if we don't have to. I mean, once we... Yeah. If a fight starts, it's going to get loud. Obviously, but like... Sneak, sneak in and... Uh, so I'm just going to cast... Or just as prep to... Uh, have my invisibility at the highest. Ready to go in? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, let me move one closer. All right. Opening door. Oh, hi. Yep. Uh, you are going to see uh, two Spriggans. Uh, and you are going to get a surprise round on them. Let's roll some initiative. Uh, and I'll also give you a description of the room, because that seems like a decent thing to do. I can see it this one. And I feel good. Like it's tone acting first. Somehow. Uh, matches? Yeah, we do. Last snow. What's your initiative modifier? Uh, four. Uh, two time. What's your initiative modifier? Uh, five. Okay. Let's see who 
who else we got? No other matches. Okay. Just wondering uh, this. Tone is going to cast. Uh, a obscuring mist. Which we all see through because yeah. of Ashen Path. Exactly. Let's see, I'm gonna give him an aura and then you know, I'll duplicate first. Copy. Paste. Let's see. 20 foot circle radius. Player version C. Boom. Uh, that is Tone's turn. Sleepy. Um, I am going to put this man to sleep. Okay. And he's within the reach of that spell? 30, yes, 30. Okay. Uh, he is um, making a... Uh, oh. Well so. save. Well save? Yep. Uh, he's gonna roll a 12. I assume that and fails. You would be correct. Okay, he is asleep. Uh, and then... Five foot step invisible. Okay. Thank you. Uh, that is... He's not gonna be able to act. Uh, two time. A five foot step. Uh, or wait, I can five foot step and shoot, or can I only five foot step? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can five foot step and shoot. Okay. Well, it's a surprise round, so I just wanted to make sure. I forget five foot steps and surprise rounds. I want to five foot step and shoot at <laughs> the thing in front of me. I know it has soft cover. Uh, okay. Nineteen against touch. <laughs> 19 against touch with cover. So it's, uh, that is uh, it's, it'd be flat footed touch because it hasn't acted yet. That's true. So. Ooh. Elliot. Nice. nice. 21 points of damage. 21 points of damage. Wait, let me make sure the buffs are right. I think they are. I, I'm i not used to playing a character with so many buffs on their stupid bar. You burst this creature's... Uh, you, like, fire this shot and, like, rips, like, a hole through its leg. And it's nothing nothing vital to remain standing. It's just, like, super, like, brutal. Ugh. Okay. Um, last snow. Uh, five foot step. And then I will punch it. 14. Uh, 14. Uh, we'll just. Oh. We'll just miss its uh, flat footed. Mm-hmm. Is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. This guy isn't going to be alive. This guy isn't going to be alive. Uh, heavy. <laughs> Heavy. Right. Uh. Well. This. This man has presented himself to me. Five foot. And I. Just. Show sure about the slightest bit. Uh. I'm gonna hit him with a negative whip. Well, it's not a full round because I can only make one attack. But that will hit. Still 19 against touch for 24 negative energy damage. 
Yeah, and he is just drained of life as he withers and collapses. Uh, Tone is going to look around and be like, okay, we're done, and not do anything this turn. Yep. Uh, Sleepy. Uh, I know a man is in here. Maybe. I'm gonna hold my action to cast. Uh, slumber. Um, first only I see. Oh, you probably see somebody I don't see. No, I don't. Hold. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, and uh, you watch as uh, a door is going to open. I don't think you can actually see the person who opened the door, though, from where you're at. No. Uh, he is going to uh, target last snow. Would he not be able to see me either? Yeah, there's a fog cloud around us. Yeah. Or an obscuring mist around us. That is true. There is a fog Obscures cloud all sight. But he uh, can do things that uh, don't require sight, uh, such, a, such as area of effects. Uh, that would do it. <laughs> so, yeah. all of you that hear this melody, even the ones that cannot see him, Fuck. if he begins to play these pipes, uh, must make a will save. Uh, okay. is, are you auto failing me? No. Uh, quick question, Gabe. Uh, can you post cowardice for me, too, Yeah. Uh, it, it's effects worse. Uh, just, just. Yeah, I, I am. Uh, first off, I'm going to remember that I have resolve and spend a use of it here. Roll twice, take the higher. Yep. And, uh, I. I need to ask a quick question. When uh, when something says that I need to take burn uh, from a, like, I get something for taking burn from a particular source, I assume that means that it doesn't count if I can ignore burn with uh, infusion specialization. Um. Infusion specialization only works for infusions. Yep. But never mind. Maybe I'm confused. What were you? Can you re-explain what you're trying to? So my first question is: This an emotion effect? Uh, this is an emotion effect. Yeah. It's, uh, okay. Here. Then my question doesn't matter. Okay. So this is with the plus one factored in. Gotcha. Well, oh. fuck. And I will roll tones. I tried. Oh, fuck. That's yeah. me and you against the world last snow. Uh, <laughs> tone. Uh, and. I know what I'm doing, though. Yeah. Sleepy and heavy are all. Uh, let me check. Are all party rocking in the house tonight? Yes, party rocking in the house tonight. Uh, are all panicked. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Panicked. uh, Oh! I don't know how bad that is. Uh, all we can do is run away. Yes. Can I shake them out? Uh, No. No, we cannot. Wow, okay. Uh, 
Yeah, it is just a you are out. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, for how long? Uh, you were panicked for. For Intel music stop. Let's see. Uh, what is the cast your level supposed to be for these guys? You hear that? Uh, oh, for eight rounds, you are panicked. Oh, yeah. well, last snow, it's you and me uh, against the world, buddy. Last, yep. snow, last snow in two time, you are shaken for one round, even though you passed. What? Uh, and what my that? shaken, that doesn't do anything to me. Oh, no. Uh, and the penalty is. Yeah. No, yeah, it's one, it's one worse for me. So the, I thought it lasted minus, one round longer. It comes up minus three to like a bunch of different things instead of minus two to a bunch of different things. Yeah, I'm finding the shaking condition, and I'll just know I do a minus one to that. Uh, so we'll do a eight. Is there a shaken? Yeah, in conditions. Okay. I don't know. It it shows the effects, but I don't see anything actually. It'll changing. show up when you roll. Gotcha. It doesn't show up in the sheet until then. Okay. It'll just say minus two if up this He is also going to five foot step into this uh, area, and uh, he's gonna shout, uh, "Wake your ally up!" Let's crush these two. Uh. That is a Sadu's turn. It is two time. It is. I can't see because of all the names. It's. Uh, I'm going to sprint. I'm going to activate controlled rage. I'm going to step. I'm going to do this one so I can get a lay of the land. Uh, and am I I don't provoke so I don't care uh, I'm going to step one more up he's so asleep. I can get within 15 he's asleep but also I don't provoke so it doesn't matter Yeah. Uh, I enter a controlled rage which should get rid of most of the penalties or at least offset them uh, uh, I'm going to actually I'm going to shot on the run with this because okay. it is my speed and I'm only making one attack. And it's just so I can black powder bravado if I misfire. Uh, Take your shot. One second. I'm getting a word call, but I will. Uh, 19 uh, against this fella, the uh, Sage here. Yes, against his right, touch. Nice. Uh, 20 points of damage. Uh, oh, technically it would be 18 because Shaken is a minus two. What type of bullet are you using? Uh, it's cold iron. Gotcha. It would be it would be minus three because of my cowardly, so it'd be an eighteen instead. Yeah, I mean it, it, the the shake. Yeah. Yes, but my shaken is worse. Oh, right. Uh, he looks pretty injured by that. The cold iron just rips through his skin. And he's like, "Fuck, fucking kill him!" <laughs> yeah, I've been loading cold iron ever since I got in the fit wild. Uh, last snow. Uh, do I want to risk an unarmed strike or just grapple? Wait, was that 19 against his flat-footed? No, it was against his touch, not his flat-footed. Uh, okay. I might just... Yeah, I'm just going to grapple. So I'll go there and there and put my hands on the boy. Put your hands hard. Uh, that is going to confirm. Take four points. At, oh, you take no damage because it's not cold. Oh, wait, does it count? Does your attacks count as cold? Yes, line? they do. Uh, yeah, but would my Kraken... Because yeah, that... Your, your does Kraken, kraken style. Term, I would say. Uh, you want to take equal to your so wisdom would. modifier in addition to... Uh, uh, it doesn't say, but I would well, think you, it would. It is It is two plus your wisdom. All right, no, that's later. That's later, Kraken Styles. It yeah, is well, no, it's like, because it's not... Or is it technically my unarmed strike doing the damage, or is it Kraken Style? Because I think the, the, the real description says you would leverage their weight against them. It doesn't yeah, say... Yeah, so I, I, I would say you're probably right. It doesn't overcome the DR. Uh, yeah. But when you deal unarmed damage, it will... Uh, so that's Last Snow's turn. 
spot. <laughs> this Spriggan is going to step out uh, and move uh, over here uh, and shake his body. Does that uh, provoke? I'm going to check if it provokes. Yeah. Give me a second. I've been waiting to use this for a long time. I think it'll say in sleep if it provokes. Sleeping uh, creatures are helpless. Slapping or wounding. Uh, awakening a creature is a standard action. Uh, an application of the aid another action. So does aid another trigger? <laughs> I would assume so. I don't think aid another does actually. In the only combat you can help a friend. Uh, yeah, this does not. Oh, okay. Uh, provoke. So it'll slap, slap him up, and uh, this guy is gonna awaken. Uh, okay. Uh, then I'm gonna check something just to make sure. When does the round for shaken end? Uh, on the start of the. Stater's next turn. Yeah. Okay. I check how the size alteration works. Can I do that as a move action or something? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, so he'll just stand there holding him battle axe. Uh, this fellow is going to. Uh, stand up and then five foot step. That provokes. Uh, that will provoke, yeah. Uh, I will. I think I get a free grapple on my bite attack. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was going to pistol whip him, but I forgot that that costs grit and doesn't. Uh, and I can use my dex for this as well, right? Yeah, dex to the attack roll dex to the attack roll. I want to take... I need to take some buffs off. Sorry. I would still be in hybrid form. I'm still in controlled range. I don't get point blank shot. Uh, just for the damage. Uh, <laughs> critical grapple. Yeah. Or well, critical bite. <laughs> you, deal, you deal one point of damage. Uh, oh, and you're fighting him, and I'm going to remember this time that that deals damage to you. Oh, does it? Yeah. I this is the first time I've bitten one of these. Uh, They're thorny boys, ain't they? Yeah, uh, they are. Probably. I should have pistol it. Uh, yeah, so it'll be... Uh, you take... You take three points of piercing damage when you bite on them. I take no points of piercing damage. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you deal one point of damage. You can go ahead and roll a grapple attempt if you want. Uh, CMB. 21. Uh, that will not 20. Matter. Yeah, it's even lower than that, so. Right. I'll five foot step. And then he's going to chop into you with his battle axe. Uh, does a 24 hit with nope. lightning? Uh, that's an extra plus two. Uh, I already included the two. Yeah. Uh, no, it uh, doesn't. It is this, this turn. He is going to move into here. This is where I want to be. I get crowd control up. <laughs> and then up to here. Uh, which I might provoke from less oh no because you have to you have to grapple with you can't threaten your area i don't think while you're grappling well, he can yeah mm, i don't think uh i'm high enough level to make a tax opportunity while grappling yeah uh this guy's gonna move up to here and then he's going to enlarge it's gonna grow in size uh, and I will move him off the map and then replace him with a <laughs> different token. But I'm not going to delete him, so 
This initiative will stay on. Fantastic. Fan fucking tastic. Uh, heavy. Uh, you run. Uh, specifically, you drop anything in your hands and run. Uh, given that it takes an action to doff my shield, I don't believe I would drop that. Yes. So I run my speed, or double my speed. You run as fast as possible away from the threat. All right, so running in a straight line. Yes, so you would run, and because the door is open, you'd be able to run all the way into this back They essentially just sit themselves in the back of the room. Yep. No, so you, you could actually make it all the way into here because okay. the door the cell is open. So it's the oh. door like in this like square? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is Heavy's turn. Uh, Tone will do the same thing. Oh, he actually... Oh, no, you can run through Allies, because you just can't run through different terrain. Move up to there. Uh, sleepy. Yeah. Yo! I don't know if I can leave. That might be here, but all intents and purposes, uh, what okay. do you Ah, uh, that is Sylvie's turn. Uh, the Saint here is going to potentially continue playing these pipes. Let me check. Ah, a creature that successfully saves against the, any of the pipe effects cannot be affected by the same set of pipes for 24 hours. Can he play if he's grappled? Uh, yeah, it only... It actually doesn't physically require a hand to play an instrument. Uh, That's what? Silly. It doesn't. Uh, bards, uh, with their bard song, they can play uh, an instrument and then they can like release it and it just keeps playing. Uh, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I was like, he's just using his mind. You to need hands to out. start it. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Is it okay if I just put back up here so I can see what's going? On? If you just what? Is it okay if I bring my token back over here so I can see what's going? On? Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I just I same with uh, same with uh, you. Uh, sleeping. Uh, not sleepy. Uh, ben. Envy. Ben. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna give this a pink color. I'm gonna give the fake ones a tint so that I can know who's actually there and who's not. Uh, ben, did you hear what we said? No, Are you there? sorry. Uh, yeah, you, you can uh, you can head over and like watch what's happening if you want. Uh, oh, put my token over? Yeah. Yeah, like I made just a little placeholder where I would be. Oh, I, I get it, I get it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that is uh, the... So I guess it would be using this one as the, the colored one as the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Satyr is going to uh, not keep playing his pan because clearly that's not working out, he wants it to. Uh, and instead, he is just going to uh, jab uh, Last Snow with a dagger uh, and then gore him with his horns. Uh, uh, does a 25 hit your AC? Yes. Uh, he'll deal uh, five points of piercing damage. Uh, and his horns are probably going to miss with a seven. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's just going to swear at you. He says, uh, You fucking people come into our house and you try and kill us? Get out of here! And he jabs you. 
Uh, and it is uh, two times turn. Two time will glance over at last snow, see that last snow has him wrapped up, and I'm going to assume that you can handle him. Uh, I do not provoke because of art of the gun. I'm going to shoot the big guy three times. Yeah, and because you're full rounding, you can also make your uh, natural weapon attacks. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, da, da, da. So 30, 28, and 28. Uh, the last one flashes and uh, scorches the mark on the ground. Okay. And then I also. Sorry, I have to change the buffs I have for melee attacks. Uh, I uh, do you, get crack control. You take a minus five on uh, these. Uh, melee temporary minus five. Uh, bite. So I can bite and tail slap. I think right. Yep. Because you're full rounding, you get second. Bite rate. tail slap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, twenty-seven won't confirm. Uh, he, which one are you targeting? Uh, I didn't even. Uh, this one, I guess. Okay. Uh, twenty-seven won't confirm. No, twenty-seven won't confirm. Okay. So you deal five points of damage to that fellow, and you get a free grapple attempt. Uh, sh- sure. Uh, <laughs> I am a whirlwind of death. Confirm. Uh, uh, go ahead and roll to confirm. Oh, I get to roll. I don't. Uh, Grapples can, can confirm. They can. I don't know if it'll affect it. I'm gonna check that. I think it only matters for Last Snow because Last Snow is Kraken style for the damage. Well, I think you have like a thing. I have Death Roll, roll but it's a. Oh, it's only when you start the turn. Uh, it just says when. It doesn't say it's an action. Uh, when grappling a hoe, yeah, a cra- Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's not an action, so. So it is knocked prone, and I maintain the grapple. And it doesn't say I'm also prone. And your death roll also deals damage. It does my bite damage again, so I'll just roll bite. Six damage. Six points of damage. Man, that you are healing. Is wicked. Uh, so gun flashing. Uh, just rips into the other guy with his mouth and tail. Uh, and <laughs> that is much less much less of people in this room. Uh, less snow. Uh, <clears throat> here's my um, grapple to maintain. 41. You maintain. And then yeah. this is the damage with it because I'm attacking. It'd be 18 damage. 18 points of damage and and 2 points of damage so 20 points of damage oh no because a 2 doesn't actually yeah so it's only 18 uh okay and then that was my move action and then now my standard action to make another arm an arm strike okay Uh, 15 will confirm I think against its grappled AC yeah it will nice 22 points of damage. He is dead on the ground. The boy's got it in his hand. You just uh, you just sweep him off his legs, grab him, uh, and then next turn you just wrench his neck and snap it. Uh, and he collapses to the ground. Um, as, as I'm lowering him to the ground, I'll whisper to his, you know, dying ear, that was the plan the whole time, you know. Okay, got it. Uh, there's just like a shocked <sighs> exhaling. Uh, and it is this Fell Knight's Brigand's turn. Uh, and it is going to uh, swing with his axe at two time. Uh, just trying to crack him. That is a fucking natural one. Uh, this friggin's gonna swing. Uh, 
Uh, and that is going to be a uh, natural 20 uh, with a 23 to confirm. Two time. I'm pretty sure 23 doesn't confirm he's a uh, mutant deafened. Uh, so he's going to take normal amounts of damage. I'm back. Oh, I need a fortitude save from you. Uh, someone uh, crit and didn't confirm against you. Uh, 27. Okay. You're fine. Uh, uh, you are going to take uh, 17 points of damage uh, reduced to uh, reduced to 12. 12. So that gets rid of my temp that I get from my bonus. So I'm at 92 minus 12. Okay, we're good. Okay. Uh, and Tall Knight's Brigand's turn. Uh, this one. Ah, he's gone. Uh, heavy. Yes. Uh, I am in corner. You are in corner. Uh, you continue to be in corner. You cower in corner. Uh, Tone continues to cower in corner. Uh, Sleepy continues to cower in corner. Heroically cower. His Stantiger <laughs> is dead. Nice. Uh, two time. Are there still two around me? Yep. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna shoot one, turn around, shoot the other. Just. I, I, I know spreading my damage. I'm gonna uncontrolled rage because I do need to save those. Uh, point blank shot. Uh, rapid does shot, that mean you're deadly. fatigued? No. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't fatigue, and I don't get a bonus to. Let me make sure, but it's not in. Oh, other, it says otherwise follows the normal rules yeah. for rage, so I do you. get... Oh, okay. Uh, I have not been doing that. I didn't realize that normal rage fatigued you. It's okay. Uh, fatigues you for a number of rounds equal to twice the rounds that you spent? Uh, I spent two, so I'd be fatigued for four rounds. Okay. So in that case, I'm just going to shoot the two in front of me. I'm going to shoot two at the one I've already grappled. Okay, got it. Uh, and I don't provoke, so... Uh, and you do, you do have to stop grappling in order to do that. I assume you do that. I do that, but I misfire. Uh, but the 19 is enough to kill him anyways. <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect. Uh, that is... Actually, you could finish up... I could, but I would misfire. No, I'm saying you could finish up the bullet tag with only your bite and tail. Oh, am I allowed to do one... Am I allowed to... Am I allowed to attack, realize I kill, and then not do the second one? No, uh, you. I mean, you have to do the second one if you're full attacking. That's what so you I, did, right? So I misfire. So yeah, I was. So I, I no matter what I do, I misfire. Still bite. Yeah, so I'm saying you can still bite. Yeah, I can still bite. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and I take a minus five to those? Yeah. Uh, considering your luck previously uh <laughs> minus five can i power attack on these uh yeah you can uh and power attack is scales the same as deadly aim right uh it's minus one but for but for these ones because they're uh, they're technically they count as offhanded uh, they they would only be uh equal to the minus that you get so it'd be i'm just not gonna bother them yeah okay just <laughs> Maybe that. <laughs> That's just too much work. Uh, bite, tail slap. Okay. Uh, twenty-eight will hit. Obviously, uh, deal one point of one point of damage. Uh, twenty-eight yeah. grapple. And yeah, I uh, will grapple. Perfect. Uh, last snow. Uh, I'll move up to here, and then I will slash at him twice with my Feybane dagger. Okay. Uh, twenty-two. Oh, you can only hit him once because you moved. Remember. You're uh, correct, so I will only hit him once then. I forgot that. But you will deal uh, a good chunk of damage. 
Uh, and he is barely standing. Is he? <laughs> oh, technically, okay, I deal uh, my fight damage again. Uh, that's right. Go ahead and roll that. Uh, four. I don't okay. know if that even overcomes DR. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have DR. These guys don't. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, last time you do have a. I was going to say, I have a free grapple to do two yeah. damage to it. <laughs> and that will bring him to zero exactly, so he's staggered. Uh, so he gets essentially one standard action, which he'll take to... Uh, oh, sorry. He'll take to swing uh, ineffectually, I think. It's now... Let's see. Incoming crit, crit confirm. <laughs> You're right. 80 points of damage. Uh, 19 <laughs> doesn't hit you, right? 19, no. Uh, yeah. So, uh, with that, initiative is over as he will knock himself out by doing that. Uh, I was looking forward to getting a taste of Spriggan. You can always eat him. Yeah, you can still eat him. Uh, I need to make a will save to determine if I do that. Make a will save. <laughs> no. It's no. not going to be pleasant going down, and definitely be pleasant. Going That's down. not a will save. That's a wisdom I've, oh check. wisdom check. Uh, add add, my, add what your base save modifier is. Uh, my base save modifier is uh oh, like the one I get from my class. Yeah. Oh no, just add w- the difference between your wisdom and your will. Uh, uh, five, uh, nineteen. Yeah, you're probably not. Gonna I'm in that. control of myself. I'm not going <laughs> to eat him. <laughs> Uh, the thought crosses my mind, but I realized that it was only because I was in crocodile mode that biting him didn't hurt. So, kay. what's that going to do to my stomach if I uh, if I un crocodile? Uh, and with that, uh, combat is over, uh, and I will give you guys a description of the room now that you've sort of like the combat fog has cleared from your eyes. Uh. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, torturous Im- implements highlight this room, including a rack, a set of stalks dra- draped with uh, several well used whips, and a table housing a complicated pulley system uh, for driving thorns into uh, victims from multiple angles. Uh, two punctured bodies, long deceased, lie up upon the floor. Uh, in addition to the new bodies that you have added. Uh, how many springs did we just fight? Uh, four. Uh, so looting. Oh, I spend the, the time to clear my misfire. Yeah, I would only I'd, like loot the bodies until um, actually no I wouldn't even do that I'd come over first to make sure everybody would be clear of their like yeah yeah panic I after a while we calm down yeah yeah Take yeah I make sure no one's like run me, like me really running, running off to each other <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> just, just a fucking cuddle puddle of the just panicked people. <laughs> Is it over? Uh, uh, but but after a minute, it sort of clears up. Good work there, Lash. Now <laughs> you did most of the killing there. I just right. stopped that guy from doing any more damage than he did. I mean, if if you and I weren't able to resist that uh his music, <laughs> uh, we might be dead now. Yeah, these thorns might be might have been for us. It's disgusting. It's torture. It's not the worst I've seen, but any torture is bad. I'd rather be... I'd rather be killed than put through this. Uh Can I make a perception check to see if I see anything else? Uh, Sure. Why did my... Oh, because I had to refresh because it was broken. Yeah. I was going to uh, say, where did my character sheet go? Oh, am I still shaking? No, it added the satyrs. 
the first turn after the Seder did it yeah. to us. Oh, I had it on that whole time. Okay. <laughs> um, so would that be a 27 then? Okay, 27. Go. Uh, give me a second and I'll uh, get you some information. Um, okay. Uh, it seems like, uh, these, uh, the amount of blood and, like, uh, viscera about suggests that perhaps the little purpose that torture might serve uh, in gathering information uh, was not being served here. They were just torturing them for fun. Uh, Can I destroy all of like the torture? Like you said, there was like a torture rack and shit. Yeah. Can I break it? Sure. Uh, I'll wait until I'm fifty. Do I need to do anything to... I mean, you probably have to shoot your gun to break it, but you could also just get someone else for that, potentially, who doesn't have to use up resources. Yeah, I can gravity smash shit for you if you need. Yeah. I, I just look absolutely disgusted, and I'm like... <laughs> Harvey, can you, uh... Tear this shit down so they can't do it anymore. No problem. And I'll just start going down with the old gravity. Yeah, you smash everything in this room to pieces. One thing Desna and Rovagog both don't like is torture. <laughs> For very different reasons. <laughs> uh, Rovagog doesn't like it because his entire life is torture. Uh, <laughs> and it's not destruction. <laughs> uh, less snow. Uh, you walk into this room and uh, you see uh, a beautiful, uh, golden set of candles. That's a weird place to have. <laughs> Um, I mean, does my, do I do a new perception? Because I've never seen a set of beautiful golden candles in a torture chamber prison. Uh, oh, yeah, I should probably tell you what this area looks like. Give me a second. Yeah. Uh, well, Tyler. This stark room uh, contains a round table and six chairs. Uh, a parchment map lies spread upon its surface held down by smooth stones and an unlit candelabrum. Uh, and uh, no, you did not loot the seder uh, yet, I don't think. No, we didn't. Well, let's loot him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's got a masterwork dagger, a masterwork short bow, uh, and masterwork pan pipes. That's it. Okay, I put it. We, uh, I put the loot we got from him in. Uh, loot by the timer. way, uh, by the way, a group of satyr, uh, according to this uh, book, is an orgy of satyr. That checks yeah, out. That sounds about right. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, uh, does, no, there's no secondary perception check. Uh, you can just tell that these things have some sort of special purpose, potentially. Okay. Uh, uh, I would ask Tone more about it since he's he's their man for that job. But uh, in the meantime, I'd look at the parchment to see if it's anything noteworthy. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just battle a, plans. A yeah, it's a map of uh, what looks like the local forest around uh, oh, okay. Dallas. Uh, and yes, there are two magical sources coming from that candle area. So, Sleepy, you get the feeling that the two 
candles there are magical. Like identifiable magical or magical? Yes. Uh, if you wait for another two rounds, uh, go ahead and roll uh, a spellcraft. Oh, I'm still panicked. You're not uh, panicked, yeah. so that'll be a 23. Uh, you recognize those as candles of truth. I'm assuming this is his bedroom. I'm gonna enter. Let's let's breach and clear. Oh wait, this, this doesn't go up here. I thought I saw another door thing. Uh, oh, there's a one up by me. There's yeah, there's one up there, but I thought I saw one over there. Oh. Or right, was this one his bathroom? Oh, this is like the big spot. His. It was on this the left spiral cool. room. I think it was that one, yeah. Yeah, this room looks like a. It, it contains a staircase leading upwards. If after we explore his bedroom, can we call the session? Yeah, that is probably what is going to happen. Okay. What? My character got stuck. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you freed yourself from the door. <laughs> the, door the doors can trap you occasionally. Um, <laughs> the doors are mimic, just so you know. Uh, you find a silver goblet and platter in this room, uh, and a decorative serving table. Uh, those are both appraisable items. If someone wants to roll an appraise check. I'll let one of our appraised boys do it. Uh, Sleepy, you're gonna get both of them. Uh, the... Uh, silver goblet and platter uh, are worth 75 GP. Each or combined? Uh, in combined. Uh, and uh, the decorative serving table uh, would fetch 100 GP. Oh, I should also like describe the fucking bed tra- chamber. Uh, this yeah. opulent uh, bed chamber includes several uh, soft cushions piled upon the floor and heavy uh, ornate curtains suspended from the ceiling. An open cask of wine sits next to a teak wood uh, serving table supporting a silver goblet and platter uh, holding small bites of honey cake. Uh, In the corner uh, in a mound of cushions is a locked box. Yeah. You got, uh, you got 30 uh, seconds to open it, s- Sleepy. With the key be on the guy? This is his bedroom. Uh, I didn't find a key on him. You didn't find a key on him. Uh, with a 40 perception, do I see a key in the room? Uh, no. Uh, can you tell if it's a magic lock, Sleepy? Uh, detect magic. Weep, weep, weep. Uh, there is magic things within the box. The lock itself is not magic. Okay, you got 30 seconds with it, bud. Uh, can we check the trap for Yep, go ahead and make a perception check. Two times, can you do it? 36. Uh, it is not trapped. Okay, Great. 30 seconds, bud. <laughs> There's a, you get five attempts, basically. Uh, okay, you get it on the second. Look it open. Uh, swings up. Uh, and uh, you see within uh, is... Uh, a pile of coins, uh, 65 gold pieces, uh, 312 silver pieces, 534 copper pieces. Uh, there is a large onyx, uh, two aventurine uh, bracelets, uh, and a diamond ring. Uh, spellcraft magic step. Uh, the magic things are a bag of dust uh, and two elixirs. Uh, so 30, or 32, 30, 36. That's, okay. thir- that's 13 gold for each of us, and I didn't get the copper and silver. Okay, I'll tell you the conference over yeah, in a second. That's what. Uh, 
uh, you find okay. So with the thirty-two, you're gonna get uh, dust of illusion, uh, an elixir of love, and an elixir of truth. I don't. Let's try the effect wears off. Oh, that's just like okay. And I'll roll some appraised checks. Like, could you roll one appraised check for me, and then I'll just copy the stuff into chat? Yes. Okay. Thanks. Wow. Okay. Well. Good you know. thing we have tone. Well, yeah, tone's fine. Uh, here we go. This is just. I'm just gonna copy the whole treasure section. Here we go. Oh, we didn't split up those pearls of power. Oh. Uh, I assume the two spellcasters should each get one. We should probably cover that next session. So just yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, see yeah. If we I'm just. Remember. I'm just. I'm just realizing. We remember to do that, and uh, we call it a day. All right. Herald of Power. Is that spell wrong? I can't. Oh, I yes, you did. You, you didn't spell it wrong. There was a transposition error. All the right letters were there. They just weren't in the right order. That's a good one. Transposition error. I'm going to use that. Yeah, it's he, he transposed to. For the Dust of Illusion, they feel like. Charges? Uh, you have one dose, I believe. Alright. This is a fun little bit of dungeon session. I, lo- I like a good dungeon. I, what I, I know too. if this leads back out into the uh, cave that opening based on what we've traveled, because I feel like. I mean, we wouldn't know. There's also no door here. Here. Oh, there's a yeah. Oh, there's a door there. Well, I because I know there's another door leading out here. And it looks kind of like. Can I quickly sprint back out through the cave, knock on that door, and see if it leads back through? Uh yeah, it does. I mean, you okay. can just, you can just click on it. I think in the game. Yeah. And the well, I just didn't want to yeah. open it. I just it didn't. Yeah. yeah, and they have I immediately mean, have more for the exact same reason. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, fun session.